In this video, we will learn how to brute force SSH with Hydra to first gain access to the system. Then we will learn how to exploit a Python binary to escalate our privilege as the root user. This is the library CTF challenge from TryHackMe. So first, I have already started my machine and got my target IP address. So like every other CTF challenge, I'll copy the IP address, open my terminal and do a nmap scan with the command sudo nmap and paste the IP address. After the scanning is completed, I can see port 22 SSH is open and port 80 HTTP is open. So since there is a website running, I'll copy the IP address, open another tab and paste the IP address. I can confirm there is indeed a website running and this seems to be a blogging website. I can see there is a blog post and this blog has been written by Meliodas. If I check the page source, I can confirm there is nothing much going on in this website. If I check the robots.txt file. I can see the user agent is rockyo. This could be a hint that we have to brute force using the rockyo.txt file. So since we have SSH open, we can try brute forcing SSH. And since we already know we have a user called Meliodas, we can try brute forcing with this username. So I'll type the command hydra space dash l for username and type the username which is Meliodas. Specify the path to my password list with dash capital P and the rockyo.txt file as I'll be brute forcing SSH. So SSH colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address. And finally, I will do verbose because I want to see each of the attempt. And now my Hydra is running. After the brute force is completed, I can see for the username Meliodas, the password is I love you one. So let's try to log in with this password. I'll SSH as the user Meliodas, the at mark symbol and the IP. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes. And when asked for a password, I'll copy I love you one and paste it. And now we are successfully logged in as the user Meliodas. If I type ls, I can find the user.txt file. I'll get this file. And we got the first flag, the user.txt flag, which is also the answer to our first question. And now we have to find the file root.txt. So obviously if I change to the root directory, I will not have enough permission. If I check what can I use sudo with, with the command sudo space dash l. Now I can see, python is allowed to run as the root user on this file, the back.py file, which is in our home directory, this one. So now what we can do is, remove this file and create a file with the same name, so that we can execute the python command on our malicious file. So first I'll remove this file, yes, and then create a file with the same name. And if I type ls, I can see this is the file that we created. Now we need to add a malicious code inside this file so that we can escalate our privilege as the root user. To find privilege escalation commands, go to Google and search for GTFO bins. Click on the first link and when you're on this website, search for python because our file is a python file and under python, select sudo because we want to run the file as super user and under sudo, copy this command. We will not copy this part because we are not executing the command from the terminal. We are executing the command inside the file. So after copying this part of the command, in my terminal, I'll open the file that I created and paste the command and save the file. Quit the file and type sudo and this command, the command that we can run sudo with. So sudo space user bin python and the path to this file. And now if I press enter, I'm in the root shell right now. If I type who am I, I'm the root user. I'll change to the root directory and read the file root.txt. And I can see I got the root flag. I'll copy this and paste it as the answer. And we were correct. So this is how to solve the library CTF challenge from TryHackMe. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or CTF challenge, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.